Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're finally gonna start rebuilding the Camaro engine. And to kick it off, we're gonna be installing the freeze plugs today, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it too. So here's the freeze plug kit that we got. They actually included a few extra of these small freeze plugs just in case something goes wrong. And there's these three tiny, tiny ones in case we need extras that are different sizes. So that's really cool. You don't always see the different ones included in kits for the Chevy 350s, but I do know that some of the different years have different sizes. So it's good to know that they've kind of got their bases covered here. We've got our tools already laid out, which is just going to be a ratchet to screw in these little pieces, uh, two sockets to knock in the various different freeze plug sizes, and then this weird little bolt thing, which I actually pulled out of the Camaro, uh, which is going to help us knock in the small, tiny ones into their proper spots. Now, after much online reading, I found that apparently this is the recommended stuff to use for sealing the freeze plugs in. Uh, some people just go in completely dry, but I'm going to follow the instructions and use a little bit of this gasket compound just so there's no issues. You can pick this stuff up off of Amazon pretty cheap, uh, so there's no real reason not to get it. Now, this gasket compound is recommended to be put on and let it get a little bit tacky before we start installing the freeze plugs. So I'm going to put it on every single one of these freeze plugs, and then we'll actually start installing them. <laughs> So this is what a completely coated freeze plug should look like, just a little bit around the edges, enough to add an extra barrier of sealant. All right, now let's start putting these bad boys in. I'm just going to take this one and lightly set it in there. Then we're going to take our socket and put it on the inside. And there you go, that is what one set freeze plug should look like. And when you're pounding them in, you're gonna notice this little ring start to form, at least if you're using a socket. Um, they do sell special tools to put these in, but who really has the money for those? Either way, it won't be a problem because these are gonna be painted over with the rest of the block when that happens. All right, now onto the second one. Second one is in, I actually probably pushed that one in just a hair too far. It's a little bit further than I'd like it to be in, but it should be fine. While we're over on this side, we're actually gonna put in this little screw here, which is one of the coolant plugs. We're actually gonna coat the threads on this plug in some of that sealant as well, just to make it even better. All right, now we're gonna move over to this side and do these plugs over here. Alrighty, the fourth one is in, which means all of these plugs on the sides are completed. This one is probably the best looking one. It is just a hair below the edge, perfect all the way around. Definitely my best one. I also went ahead and installed this other screw uh, for the coolant plug right there as well. All right, so on this side of the engine, we've got one, two, three, four, five different freeze plug locations, and then one big one on the back on the other side. These might be a little more difficult because they are perp perfectly vertical, but we'll see. I have to admit, I made a mistake here. When you're putting the freeze plugs in, there's actually a little bit of a beveled edge right here, and you need the freeze plug to go just slightly below that edge, not slightly below the actual face of the engine block. So I have to go back through, make sure that all of the rest of those plugs are down to the edge. I got that one correct, and I got that one correct, but I need to make sure that all of them are completely and totally installed correctly. All right, mistake fixed, and we are all good to go on the big freeze plugs. Now over on this side, I still have these small ones to put in, and technically I should be putting in the freeze plug that goes at the end of the camshaft there, 
but I'm not going to do that because I want to put the cam bearings in before I put the freeze plug in on that end. That way I can access it from both ends in case something goes wrong. So I'm going to flip the engine back over, put these three small ones in next. All right, these three plugs are now in. Uh, they did not go in smoothly, to be honest. Uh, the edges of them are a little bit mangled up, but with the sealant and everything else on there, I believe they'll be fine. Honestly, I think these holes might have just been a slight bit too small uh, for the plugs that went in, but they will be sealed very, very well, that's for sure. All right, so we're moving on to this side for these final two uh, medium-sized freeze plugs. All right, guys, the last freeze plug goes into this hole right here, this oil journal. And that journal is located just to the left of the oil pump is often the most forgotten about freeze plug in the whole thing. We tapped it out when we took them out. Now we just got to put it back in. So here's the trick with this last one. It has to sit exactly one and three eighths inches from the top. So I've measured here and marked on this little screw with a piece of duct tape exactly one and three eighths inches. So I'm going to zoom in here and what we're going to do is just place this in there real gentle. Give it a little tappy tap. It's going in there real smooth, which is nice. Well, I just knocked it sideways. Okay, we got it stuck in there, but thankfully also got it back out with no deformation. So we'll try it again. All right, so after some finagling, I realized that I actually had to go and buy myself a new freeze plug for this port. Now, if I put the screw down in here, we're actually just right before an inch and three eighths, but down inside, I can clearly see the hole where the oil comes through. And if you go up the other side and you have something like a really long pick uh, or even just a, a wire I've seen, people take a wire and bend it at a 90 degree angle at the end, uh, you can actually feel the oil passage on the other side of this as well. So I know both of them are open and it's sealed super well. And that's it. That's how easy it is to install freeze plugs on a Chevy 350. For a lot of different engine applications, this is a very similar process. So uh, feel free to apply it to others. The location are different the screws are different all the sizes are different of course but if this was able to help you at all let me know give me a comment down below I'd love to hear if you guys are following along with the project or not and in the next video we're gonna be doing the cam bearings so stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time see ya